So welcome to this uh, game that I found in Kickstarter. They make a Kickstarter campaign for it right now. It is called Maid Mansion, which is about virtual novel romantic, I think, about uh, maids in mansions. And we will start with that. Yes, I, uh, I promise to do shovel after uh, Everlasting Summer, but uh, this is a demo game, so it will not be best, I think three or four episodes so let's move on there was no possibility of taking a walk that day of course there wouldn't have been possibility for me to take a walk on any other day except for weekends since my job at my grandfather plane engine factory was a mid management position and require attention and my grandfather was the sort of person who will take offense at me trying to neglect my duty but even if I had wanted to take a walk, it would have simply been impossible on that day. Just on account of uh, the, tr the rain, it came down like a torrent, usually for that time of year. And the sound of it against my window made it difficult to focus on work that morning. So, I was almost relieved when, the, when there was a knock on my door and my essence I walk in. You? Yeah. I almost insisted regard having addressed her in such a casual way. The look on Yumiko's face was in no way casual, or anything had seen before. Uh, I mean, what is it, uh, Yumiko? Chief Kawajiri has died. Wow. What? I'm so sorry for your loss. What the grandfather was? Are you certain? The phone call just came in. I haven't told anyone yet. You are the first. I took a deep breath. How? His heart uh, gave out. They said last night in this sleep. Wow, this is a very depressing start of a game, huh? Your grandfather died. No. His heart? Wow, that's uh, hard to swallow. If I may ask, uh, how old was the chief? 86, I think, or 87. Really, he always seemed so energetic, so full of life. Yeah. Yeah, he really was. Yumika looked at me and I could see she was easily as uh, shaken by the news as I was myself. She had greatly respect for my father. Uh, heck, everyone had a greatly respect uh, my grandfather. War hero, the last admirer of the surrender. And only after neglection of free passing of his entire crew of 600 tried, tried for war crime and acquitted in every single case, took over the ruin of the factory after the war and turned into it into a profitable business pretty much all by himself. Is this is written by a Japanese person? Because it sounds like it, because this is uh, like a big thing after uh, the World War II uh, over, this is like a big blot, or maybe someone who know a lot about the uh, Japanese history. And even had a place in it for his uh, slacker grandson to make something of his life eventually. So, what happened next? I think the border of direction will inform next. My guess is they will take care of everything, I mean, the factory. It is a pretty much a Chief Kawa a Jiri lifetime achievement. They will definitely give him a worthy send off. Huh. Do you want me to call the management for you? Huh? Why? Maybe you want to take the rest of the day off. I shook my day, my head. That's not what a grandfather would have wanted. He was always very strict when it came to me taking care of uh, my duty. I don't think I'd honor his memory by taking a day off. Yeah. Manly, this is uh, actually a very strong character of you. Besides, if the board will take care of all the arrangements for his firm, they don't really need me for it. And you? Huh? What do you need? You make look at me and I could see she was really concerned that uh, was so much like her, always trying her best to make sure I was alright. She really cared. That is uh, the main reason why we were on first name base now. She had intentionally called me young chief or manager Kawajiri, but 
none of that had felt right so it took only a few months for us to arrive in you and Yumiko this time however her protectiveness was not necessary and to show her that I smile at her ha huh. don't worry Yumiko it will be fine are you certain quite so it's uh, not as uh, thought my grandfather and I were that close. I mean, I am thankful for all he's done to me. But it's not as thought we had much to do with each other and besides. I think the board is going to let everyone leave early today. Anyway, I mean, what better way to honor a man who rebuilt this uh, factory with his own hands? Yeah, that's what I really said. That's really how naive I was. Of course, it didn't happen. The factory didn't close early that day. They didn't even announce his death right away. Only the same dumb veteratic messenger on VA system they had every day. Love you country. Respect Guhozoko. Keep your eye open for spies and sabotage. Report all suspicious activity to secret police using the following phone number. What? What does uh, this mean? I mean, what year we are in? Okay, I'm looking at the office to see what year we are in. Uh, I cannot realize it. I think it, we are in modern day, but does it make any sense? Uh, look, there are flat screen TV. Uh, minotaur, flat minotaur. So this is a bit after 2000. Announcement. Attention all workers, today is the founder of the company, the man who lifetime achievement is the reason you are able to earn a living here, Kawajiri Singo died. Anyone who wish to pay his respect to the man who has for all of us uh, have been allowed to stay and work an additional two hours in honor of uh, all he has done to us. Anybody is allowed to, they of course meant is expected to because who would have wanted to be the guy who didn't pay his respect to Chief Kawajiri? Wow, what a bunch of assholes! A few days later, the funeral was held, and it was as public as event as it could have been for someone who had never held any public office. Wow, look at this! So many. Why he have a Christian? Uh... If you don't know, he's Japanese. The entire board of directors was there. Together with their wives, the assistant mayor was there and even spoke of a few words for him. Four different TV stations recorded the event and a ton of people I had never even heard of before appeared, all to pay their respect to my grandfather. Among a crowd like that, everyone overlooked me. Not that I was in, in any way unhappy about that, I had uh, never been in the kind of guy who curved attention. I was perfectly happy with standing on the sideline. Of course, it took Umiko to notice the obvious. Aren't this any of you relatives here? I don't think I really have any relative left, really. My father and most of my uh, other male relatives died in the war, except for Uncle Ichiro. This is a... Uh, what's the... When this happened? And he is in retirement at home somewhere up north suffering from Litini. Is, he, is this has happened like after the Second World War? My mother died in the after war riot. One of my aunts uh, fled the country. The other we never uh, talk about her much. But from what I heard, she did a few bad things during the war and was embarrassed for that and died during her prison. Oh. And my grandmother, well, you know, she died two years ago. Yes, I remember I never saw Chief Kawajiri show any emotion except on that day. She raised me, you know. I was only four when my mother died. She was a pretty much uh, the only per parents I really know. Grandfather was never there for me. Well, he was still CEO of uh, the factory back then. I suppose he just never had the time to be there for you. Oh yeah? Even after he retired, he was never there. I mean, 
Can you imagine that moving out of his own house to live in a mansion 20 miles away from home and all that just to raise uh, stuff flowers? Every man needs his hobbies, I suppose, and he still cared about his family. I mean, he made certain you got into good school and then good job at his factory. But uh, did he ever ask me whatever I want? As I was really hoping to get into university to study, but instead I have to quit after high school and get into the, uh, this lousy you. Not so loud. The others are already looking. I understand you may have your reason for being angry at your grandfather, but this is his funeral. You shouldn't be talking badly of uh, the dead at their funeral. After that, okay. Sorry. And besides, you never know who else might be listening. And the moment my mobile rang, had turned up toward me. Yikes. You didn't turn it off. No one ever called me anyway. Hello? Hello, this is a Koji you. And you are? My name is Bankai. Bankai? I was your grandfather attorney. My condolence. Uh, thank you. Let me can I step a little aside. Might I trouble you to come to your grandfather and sister after the ceremony? What? Uh, right after the ceremony? It's important. But I mean right away? This is a little inconvenient. Who is it you? Some attorney. He said I need to come to grandfather mansion right after the ceremony. What? Oh, uh, wait. What? Let me speak to him. Yeah, you may come. The woman who do everything. You are just useless, you. Uh, Mr. Bankai, my secretary handled my appointment. I handed the phone over to her. Yeah. You may have took my phone and put it in the speaker. Mr. Binkai? Yes. What you asking is not possible, Mr. Binkai. My Mr. Mohi is a uh, morning and you are Miss uh, Kamisha Yumiko, I assume? Uh, why? Yes, I am. Then I would like to extend this uh, invitation to you as well. You will find it uh, the quite uh, important. How will this concern me? I named as an executive for uh, Kawajiri uh, Shingen, last will and testament. And this testament mentions you in person, Miss Kitamura. Me? Quite so, you may to look at me apparently not knowing what to do either. I signed and took my mobile back. Is this as appropriate music for a funeral? It's uh, Kawajiri again. Look, can't we make an appointment next week? It was your grandfather expected wish, Mr. Kawajiri, that the matter concerning his last will and testament are taken care of uh, without a delay. I assume you do want to respect his wishes, or do you not? My wishes, of course, he meant. Or do you not want to inherit his uh, control fortune? Hmm. Of course I do. Then, I suggest we all meet the Kawajiri estate in a few hours. Is that agreeable with you? Yumiko? Ah, oh, well, if it is uh, what the chief uh, Kawajiri wished, then of course well, I will come too. Then we will be there. Very good. I hope the funeral does not take too long. I have a few other en engagements this uh, evening. Goodbye. By the way, I like the font. Yeah, I know this is a weird thing to say, but I like the point. And, just like that, he was off. Baby guy. Oh yeah, I agree. Did you even meet him? Never, though. I suppose I don't know any of my grandfather's personal connector. Much less his uh, attorney. I wonder what uh, is so urgent. Chief Kawajiri hasn't even been buried yet, and already someone tried to execute his last will and this Well. It is sure does sound like uh, something my grandfather would have asked for. You think so? Calling you away from a farmer because he has something important to tell you? Yeah, that absolutely like him. But it, it is his funeral. Even less reason to give a bother. Yumiko and I stayed at the funeral for as long as we had to and went as early as we could without offending my grandfather's memory. To be great relief, everyone's attention was more focused on the more promising member of the society. It still was a few hours until we could excuse ourselves, but then 
we immediately handed for my car and drove off. My grandfather's estate was on the contrary, almost an hour drive from the edge of the city. Out there, the country was nothing but a rolling hill, small rural village, and miles and miles of safflower. The people out there had been farming a uh, safflower of uh, countries, and they probably would be uh, farming safflowers of the country to come. It was a business of a tradition so established that not even the war had changed anything about it. Well, one thing had have a change in the last few years, the safflower field had always belonged to the local farmers. Then my grandfather had retired from his position as a factory CEO and now the field belonged to him. I still remember hearing about it in the local news. The farmer has, uh, had resisted my grandfather pursuing their land and business, but eventually he had given them so much money that they could not have said no. At last that what the news said, knowing my grandfather, he probably made them an offer they cannot refuse, yes, but one of a different kind. Eventually, we arrive at the mansion, it is stood up on hill, right next to small forest, and there wasn't a single safflower to be seen anywhere on the entire scale. My grandfather, go figure. Wow, this is huge. You never been here? Never, I mean. I heard about Chief Kawajiri Mansion, but I wouldn't have expected to be so suspiciously. Aren't you impressed at all? I was here once, I few, a few years ago. Hasn't the change since then? Huh. Let's go and start, shall we? Okay, I walked toward the main entrance, but before we could reach it, uh, someone already came out to greet us. A maid. Oh, hello there. We are looking for the woman bowed deeply before us. Young master, welcome to the Kawajiri entrance. It is a pleasure to meet you in person. Uh, thank you. I am me, Mamiya Takaku. Mamiya Tataku, uh, Takaku. The late master humble servant. I hope your journey has not been too taxing on you, young master. Oh, no, not at all. Thank for asking, Mr. Miami away. Please, call me Takako, young master. Oh, yes, Takako. Then uh, we are looking for Mr. Pinkai. Everything has been prepared inside. Young master, shall I take care of uh, your luggage or will you mention take care of that? Men servant? There are no luggage to take care of, uh, Takako. Thank you. And this is not uh, men servant. My name is Katamura. I am Mr. Kaji's secretary. Takako didn't even look at you, Miko. So, will she stay by the car or will she be coming inside? Her? She will be coming with me. Mr. Binkai asked for her uh, in person. As you wish, young master, please follow me. She's such a jerk, and uh, there's something I want to make an announce about the games, like the transition between scenes, like instant, like phew. this is not nice. Uh, if you look at the game, like Everlasting Summer, it's like slow, or like there are movement for the character, you feel like small movement. Of course, not like in a 3D adventure game or something like that, but or full animation, but at least you see like. The character disappear or just move on. The character turn around and walk ahead toward the mansion. Your grandfather had a maid? Yeah, I am surprised as well. The last time I was here, he lived alone. When was that? A few years ago, when he summoned me here to tell me I couldn't study after school but had to take uh, the factory job. Oh, Yubika and I followed Takako into the mansion. Huge! And this is only the entrance hall. Twin staircase! Yeah, that house is pretty old. I think that uh, layout was uh, quite tradition back then. This entire estate uh, was built over 150 years ago in the western fashion. Right after the imperial restoration that uh, owned greatly admired the culture uh, overseas. 
I'm really puzzled about what's the area we are in right now. Because uh, Yumiko clothing is like something will be at least from the 80s or 90s in general, but this is like us directly after the war, and there's no way uh, you will be young enough to begin at the, remember the war, except it's like the 60s or the 50s. Some of it's weird. The entire state was built over 150 years of okay. But this uh, were simple time, time when not everything that wasn't from uh, Zibang was uh, verified. Sound as uh, though you might have a soft spot for this time, Takako. Uh, Takako didn't respond. Takako didn't respond through, I wasn't certain if it wasn't just uh, out of her overall this, uh, uh, disregard of people she considered men servant. Hmm. I'm not talking to you, filthy human. Throw a ear, please. Oh, this one is cute. Very cute. That old man was just surrounded himself by cute uh, maids and he was banging them all the time. That's what I think it was doing. We walked toward the door. Takako was guessing. He sent one of the other door for a few opened the young woman stumbled out. We... You rang, Mr. Takako. Takako face turned to ice. I rang it three times ago, uh, Narumi, when I, it uh, would have still been a project for you to join me in uh, uh, greeting the young master. Sorry, Mr. Takako, I was still occupying in the bathroom when I heard the bell and... Save you apologize, go and prepare some tea and skin for this young master. Yes, Mr. Takako. The young maid whose name was apparently Narumi, uh, bowed uh, so quickly, had uh, hit the beast almost uh, slip over her uh, eyes. Oh, she's the clumsy one. Then turned and stomped back through the door when she had come from. I'm sorry for this uh, display of inconvenience, young master. Come on, you don't be harsh on her. Uh, who was that? No, no one of concern. Please follow me. Why you don't want to answer? Back to you. By the way, other thing, uh, this spirit of uh, Takako is uh, not that clean. We didn't uh, uh, clean the spirit very well. There are a lot of uh, white area in the hair. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Uh, here, here, you can see this. Uh, didn't work out very well. Yumiko did a quite good job, I think. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I think. We need to work on the spirit uh, a little bit more. Takako led us into what uh, had to be some sort of a uh, living room. It was quite uh, cozy and the white uh, leather couch and uh, armchair gave the entire room a bit of a modern vibe. Uh, where Mr. Binkai? Mr. Binkai officially had to leave, but he set everything up for you. Takako guessed at a glass table before couch, on which briefcase lay. If you would like to have a seat, young master, thanks. Yomiko and I sat down the tomato product, a small device, and put it on the table. Oh my god, what's it? It is the telephone, some sort of old voice record. Last time I saw my grandfather, he was finding around. Hmm. Find around with all time, only fitting uh, that he would even record this last well on that thing. I don't think that uh, legally possible. At last. Well, has been written and are you prepared for the last master final war for you young master would would you be so kind as uh, as to not interrupt me <sighs> young master yes please go ahead anything to prevent yomiko from picking a fight with that maid <sighs> they want to kill each other for love the like gecko nodded and started with the detached perform at first, there was only silence, then there was a deep breath. If you can hear this, then I am no longer among the living. That, or you stole my detached phone. In that case, bring it back this instant. <coughs> if you haven't stolen it, 
You either my grandson or my no good attorney who hasn't done what I told him. In that case, go and get my grandson. This message is for him. No, I'm going to assume that it is you, you, who listened to my last word now. So, technically, they are not really my last words. But the last word you're going to hear from me and... <coughs> oh, you get the point. And now listen up. I am no longer here to take care of my estates. This is why you are going to take over my duties as manager. Of course, I am not so stupid as to make you its owner. You only be sealing it all. Quick your job and become some do no good rich kid. No, no, no. I won't have that. Grandfather. At all the land I own go into a trust which you do not get to control. You will receive a manager salary and the right to live in the mansion together with your family. Of course, I expect you to do your work well. You should have learned the basic of accounting by now. I did not uh, give you a job in my factory for nothing. Jeez, look at the face of you because like, damn, this old man is such a bitch. So, if this estate ever fail to pr produce any profit, Two years in a row, you are out. The trust will find someone more competent than you. Thank you Grandma so much. I expect you to take care of everything here. The safflower business is not a hard one, but it requires dedication. If I have been able to teach you anything, you will have that dedication. You, you will start your your new job tomorrow. If you will need more time, then the wait. What? I stopped the education and one at little. The chief you are just say that you start this new job tomorrow. That's what I hear too. He can't be serious. He sort of made it sound through. You didn't have much to say in that too. Well, he my grandfather. Of course, he would make it sound like that. But you are not actually thinking of. Yeah, if all this is. Uh, inherit uh, is uh, this job then I am just refusing that uh, heritage altogether I don't want to live in this middle of nowhere surrounded by nothing but safe flower fields that late master very much loved the safe flower field well I'm not him let's see if he has anything else to tell me I'll send the touch back that dedication you you will start your new job tomorrow if you will need more time than that I allow you to build that trust for hiring someone to make this arrangement for you. Be generous, but you will start working here tomorrow. Too much time has already passed since my death. This estate cannot be without leadership. To help you with your transition, I have arranged for board of direction to determine your employment at my factory immediately. What? That no good attorney of mine say that Considering how few years has worked there, no year salary will be enough compared for you losing your job. I will give you the salary for two years after all. You are my grandson. Oh. Uh, also, you are allowed to keep that security of yours, this Miss Kita, Mura, Yukuro, whatever. If she doesn't want to come with you, tell her the factory will trimmer her employment just the same. No comparison for her. Huh? Look at her face, like this bitch. Chief. She would kill him right now. Like they totally fucked up by this uh, this old man. As for other employees, for you and Miss Mansion, I don't think you are going to need any. However, if you believe it is necessary, and if the profits are high enough, you are allowed to hire staff. Everyone you hire, though, will have to be proved by my men, uh, mansion main caretaker, Miss Bayama Takako. Oh, the beautiful Takako. <laughs> oh, this old man. <laughs> She's your boss now. 
<laughs> Look at you, you can fit. Wait a minute, this bitch is my boss now. <laughs> In this last few years, I have come to trust her service and judgment. She handled me very well. And know she will be available help for you in all decision continuing personal you she has always been there for me uh, she will always be there for me and she will be there for you too use her okay I don't like this work and respond to grandfather word to get about you to me Okay, this is an asshole old man. Of course I have included her in my will too. As long as she wished to serve this household, she will always have the right to live here and she will be paid for her service as she is now adjust to an inflation of course. And that is all. I expect you to make me proud you. And with that, the day page stop. Well, Chief Kawachi is sure is the through when it's come to have this plan executed. Yeah, unfortunately. As I stood up, the Kaku bowed to me. I am at your service, young master, as uh, the late master ordered. Uh, yeah, thank you, Yumiko. Yes. It looks like I don't have much of a choice in this, but you still do. What about it? Uh, do you want to remain my assistant even when I become manager of this estate? It sure beat being an employment, doesn't it? Like, she knew to the smile, even that I know she really angry, like, It sure beat being employed, doesn't it? This old bastard. Yeah, I mean, of course I like working for you, you are always treat me well, why would I want to give it that up? <laughs> Young master, I recommend you fire <laughs> Fire and I don't tell work is somewhat shady. Uh, someone shady? Why you? I definitely not firing her, Yumiko. If you still want this job, you have it. But she just tell me that you accept, okay? She's you get to get your breath. I accept you. <laughs> Why they name him you? They should give him a name that will not be confusing. To my surprise, Takako bowed directly into her direction. Then welcome at Kaka Kawake Kawajiri Station, Mr. Yomiko. My full name is Katimaru, Lady Takako, and I prefer to be called by that name. I'm afraid that not possible, Mr. Yomiko. What? You are now a member of Kawajiri household. Members of Kawajiri household are to be addressed by their given name, with the expression of the master and his family. That is what tradition demands. And you can take that tradition and shove it into you. Wait, oh, Yumiko, easy. Might be language. Yumiko is like, ah, uh, ass. <laughs> I'm not going to be first name with that, uh, that. So you are saying you are not willing to live by the tradition of Kawajiri household. Oh, she is such an angry. Uh, okay, okay, don't worry. She is willing, of course, she is willing. You, why are you so on her side? I gently push Yumiko down in the crotch and sit down by her side, allowing my voice to whisper. Yumiko, try and remember what my grandfather said. Takako has the final say in who get hired in this household. So, if she refuses, you cannot stay here. And I am pretty certain that the, the reason why she acted in this way, uh, she does right now. You mean... This is some kind of test. She trying to find out if you are willing to play by the rule or not. So, you want me to just play along? Yes, yeah, so please, I really don't want her to pull a prank on you. Yumiko closed her eyes and took a deep breath, then she stood up. Oh. Huh. Face down. Mr. Kako. Miss Yumiko. Actually, I think there should be like a thunder uh, lighting between their eyes, like. Yumiko bowed the direction. 
I apologize for my outburst right now. If it is a customary in this household, then of course I will be addressing by my first name. The cocoa ball back there visible this deep. Then when again I welcome you at the Kawajiri state on the young master behalf. Well, if the two of you have introduced, then I hope you will excuse me. I need to drive back to town now. What for, young master? If I'm st starting my new job here tomorrow, at least I need to grab a few fresh clothes from home. And if I can get a hold of my landlord, I need to tell him that I'm moving out and make uh, the rest of my uh, arrangement. But young master, you needn't uh, do that yourself. Please stay here. I will let my take. Uh, stay here and let me take care of all this arrangement. Oh, hold up your horses. This is, isn't a job for a maid. This is a job for a security. I'm doing it. Mew. <laughs> and they start wearing again. Ah, with all due respect, Mr. Yomiko, taking care of a new master ablation during his first day here is an act of hospitality, and of course, it is the duty of a maid. Oh, he is the new master to you, but he has been my master for several years. Wait a minute, when I was a new master, I am already familiar with all necessary arrangements. I will do it. I thought we had an understanding of your position in this household. Mr. Yomiko, I need I remind you of... Remind me. Okay, let's get I just couldn't have to take it aside. Yomiko, Takako, my own. Uh, Yomiko. I love Yomiko. Yomiko is awesome. Okay, this end here. Yomiko. Yeah. You. You take care of all the arrangements for my landlord and cancel my uh, uh, trendy. Make sure I have two clean set of clothes here tonight. Of course, you. See that the rest of my belonging is uh, delivered to the mansion in the next few days. And if I have forgotten something, take care of uh, that too. And tell me afterward. Understood? With a glow in her eye, Yumiko started out of the room, shouting Takako a Versailles look. Takako bowed to me, then turned to leave too. Not so fast, Takako. Young master, what did you think you were doing? Why are you treating Yumiko like that? <laughs> Yumiko has been nothing but a loyal for years now, and you behave like she some sort of insolent teenager that need to be punished. Do you think I would act above of this? Young master, my loyalty is to you and to you alone. What does it have to do with that? And if I have been Aesthetic with Mr. Yomiko, it is because I don't uh, believe she will fit into this household well. And I wish to spare you the embarrassment of uh, lying her off yourself one day in uh, the close future. That crazy talk. Takako, what makes you think she doesn't fit here? This is a traditional house. She is not a traditional woman. This is my household now, Takako. Mine. Do I make myself clear? Yes, young master. I want her here. She already know how to serve me. Do you not? So I have made a mistake, young master. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think you could say you made a mistake, like I, I understand. Young master, then I am need to be punished. I have bad feeling about this. Bad, bad feeling about this. Uh, we'll have to do a lot of video editing, right? Good, that uh, if you see it uh, this way. Did you see any punishment? Yes, young master, I have made mistake before. The old master insists on immediately punishment in the next case of mistake. I was joking about the old man was uh, like raping her or something. Uh, he was doing awful thing to you, right? I feel sorry for Takako now. Okay, now the situation was getting somewhere strange. What sort of punishment? The riding crop, young master. Riding crop. I don't like the sound of this. Yes, young master. If you believe I have made a mistake, then 
that uh, group is punishment for the first time transgression. And now the situation had gone from strange to crazy. A riding club as punishment in this days and age. Uh, I don't know what is the, the riding club. Uh, I mean, this may have been tradition. My grandfather household, my grandfather uh, was a strict man, and apparently Takako still lived by his rule. Why the music is creepy? Do anyone know what the riding club? She had made mistake in how she had uh, treated Yomiko, and if uh, this was uh, what uh, she considered just punishment for that, well, that riding crow, I mean, I couldn't just, of course I could. Fuck you guys, I, I would not punish her, do not punish the Oh uh, no. Hangmaster, no, I'm not going to punish you with the riding crow. In fact, I'm not given to punish you at all. But the tradition I uphold, the old master, I'm saying it already, and I'm saying it again. Takako, this is no longer my grandfather's mansion, it is mine. My mansion, my rules. Do you understand? Okay. Do you understand? But I like to punish him. I like the way he was holding my breast and- Oh, shit, stop doing this. Yes, young master, I understand. Judging by her expression, Takako did understand, but wasn't exactly happy with how it was handling things. Not happy with not getting punished for picking a fight with him. Man, what sort of behavior had my father, uh, grandfather expect of his staff? This was seriously weird. Well then, you can go. What other service do you wish me to perform for you, young master? Uh, other service? Nothing at the moment. You could go and help uh, the young maid. What uh, was her name again? Uh, Narumi. Yes, Narumi, she looks tough, but she couldn't eat out. I see a wish, young master. And with that, Takako bow and left the room. I sit down in the armchair, leaning back and sighing deeply. If this was a first look at what a man in this mansion could be like, then I was quite uh, certain I wouldn't uh, like it at all. I'm still struggle to know what year in this game is because, like, very strict about it. Somewhat in heaven or hell, my grandfather was laughing about me right now. <laughs> this is very amusement. I think uh, this is a good way to end the video. I get uh, farther than I should, but uh, I was thinking this is will be end soon, but not. So. The game is uh, sound good. I don't know how long the demo is, but I will not give it more than uh, 3 or 5 episodes. I think 5 episodes only. If it's longer than that, I will just end it and wait for uh, the real game to be uh, released. So, goodbye for now. Bye. And from now on, the next episode will be a 20 minute uh, something. This is uh, the first episode, so it's okay.